uh, governor's press briefing for the monetary policy statement of February 2019. And um, as usual, the governor will give his statement and uh, he'll take a few questions. He will leave us and then see, governor, deputy governor will leave us and senior management will stay behind to um, engage more with you. Um, and as usual, the questions should be restricted to And then after that, we'll have Mr. Victor Walusimi, who will um, give us the Luganda version at the end. So you're all welcome. And um, the government. monetary policy statement for February 2019. The Bank of Uganda has, in February 2019, monetary policy committee meeting decided to maintain the central bank rate, CBR, at 10%. Inflation outlook over the 12 months horizon has improved compared to December 2018. Uh, compared to December 2018 forecast round, risks the inflation outlook remain elevated. The economy is projected to grow by about 6.3% in fiscal 2018 stock 2019 and remain on a steady growth bus, steady growth trajectory over the coming years with output trending above potential. Indeed, high frequency real economy indicators project that domestic economic growth momentum continued into the first half of 2018 stock 19. The strong growth supported by our accommodative monetary policy stance as well as the results and favorable financial conditions, fiscal impetus, and multiply effects of public infrastructure investments, ensuring strong domestic demand conditions and improved agricultural performance. There are nonetheless risks to the projected economic growth momentum, including weather-related constraints to agricultural production and challenges relating to the financing of public investment programs. <clears throat> In addition, the escalating global trade frictions and lower than anticipated gro uh, global growth may not only subdue external demand, thereby weakening Uganda's external position, but could also lead to volatility in the domestic foreign exchange market. Furthermore, although private sector growth has been on, on recovery path since January 2018, it remains below its historical trend and its contribution to economic growth could be weighed down by the relatively weak performance of foreign <coughs> currency-dominated loans. The January 2019 Consumer Price Index data released by the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, UBOS, indicates that inflation remains relatively subdued Nonetheless, annual headline inflation rose from 2.2% in December 2018 to 2.7% in January 2019. Annual core inflation also rose from 2.8% to 3.4% during the same period. The low inflation environment 
continues to be supported by low food inflation, which has averaged minus 2.2% since the beginning of fiscal year 2018 <coughs> stroke 19. The decline in international oil prices and the stable exchange rate have also been key drivers of the low inflation environment. The medium term two to three year inflation outlook remains relatively unchanged from the December 2018 round of forecasts with inflation projected to converge to the Bank of Uganda target of 5%. However, the inflation outlook for the intermediate period has improved, largely driven by relatively stronger shilling and good crop harvest. <coughs> Headline and core inflation are forecast to peak at 5.5% and 5.3% in the first quarter of 2020, which are lower than the previous estimates by 0.6 and 1.1 percentage points, respectively. There are nonetheless upside risks to the outlook, including the future direction of food crop prices the path of the exchange rate, which in part is contingent on external economic environment and the ensuring demand, ensuring demand pressures on account of the positive output gap. Overall, the MP assesses, MPC assesses that the risks to the projected inflation path are roughly balanced. The MPC decided to maintain the CBR at 10%. The ban on the CBR will remain at plus or minus 3 percentage points, and the marginal rediscount rate at four percentage points on the CBR. Consequently, the rate discount rate and the bank rate have been set at 14% and 15% respectively. <coughs> this is the February 2019 <coughs> monetary policy statement. I thank you for listening to me.